Hi Aries, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Aries, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Aries. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Wands. So this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. And this is an energy of someone defending themselves, standing up for themselves and asserting their boundaries. So I do see you may be feeling a little bit worried about this connection, um, worried about how draining things have been, um, how one-sided things are starting to feel. And this is you really advocating for yourself and speaking up for yourself. Um, this can be an energy of a person who is a bit unsure of the future of the connection, um, unsure of where things are going and uh, feeling a need to voice themselves. And I do see this um, as being something that's going to work out beneficially for you. Um, you know, this is helping you to avoid burnouts or um, feeling that burdensome energy in the connection. So I do see you standing your ground in some way and asserting some sort of boundaries. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this Aries. Okay, so the first card we have here is the Five of Cups in the reverse. So this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. Next, we have the Full Card. So this is Uranus energy, Aquarius, Aries energy, and finally we have the strength card, Leo energy. So you could be dealing with the Leo. Okay, so I do see there's been a lot of enduring here with this strength card and this nine of wands. This is you having come a long way with someone and the connection, the relationship hasn't been the easiest. There's been a lot of obstacles and I do see it's becoming draining. Um, there is a sense of you needing a, some sort of a pause with this nine of wands. This is you wanting to take a moment to really reevaluate things, to reassess where this is going. Um, with the strength card, I do see you wanting to heal something um, because the nine of wands is also that wounded warrior energy and the strength card is really all about healing and showing yourself, um, having that self-compassion, giving yourself grace. And I do see you are um, actively um, making progress in this healing journey. You're, uh, you're able to really um, help yourself and give yourself a lot of that self-love. This person who you're dealing with is still very attracted to you as well with that strength card. There is a sense of this person feeling a very strong connection towards you, um, feeling a need to be in connection with you, feeling warmth from you. And also just admiring your qualities. This person sees you as someone who's very resilient, someone who's very strong, and um, they really admire you for these things. Um, however, I do see um, with that Five of Cups and that Fool card, uh, I do see you letting go of something. Um, that, you know, the Five of Cups is really an energy of, um, you know, crying over spilt milk, looking at things that didn't work out and um, really reminiscing on this and having a hard time healing from um, some sort of loss or some sort of heartbreak or pain that has already occurred. And with it being in the reverse, I do see you are um, making active progress in your healing. So you are reaching a point where you are able to let this go. Um, it's almost like the whatever this loss or this pain, whatever happened here um, with this Five of Cups energy, it no longer has a hold on you. You've really gained strength over this. And um, you are, there is almost like you are um, having a lighter load on you with this full card. You're embracing a new beginning. You are, um, you know, I do see you advocating for your boundaries is really allowing you to have the freedom to, um, you know, feel a, like a weight has been lifted off of your shoulders with that full card and um i do see you being um 
received well in you expressing this boundary um, there is a sense of the person who you're dealing with having a lot of respect for you and um, it really respecting your boundaries and being open to doing things a different way um, and I do see you know this is really being carefree and, and feeling light so, um, so the burden that is there with that nine of wands is being lifted from you okay so let's clarify these cards Aries Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Cups. So this is Water Energy, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio Energy, and this is a new beginning in love. This is, um, you know, shared interests, someone really pouring out their heart to you and wanting to start things on a on a more um, loving slate. Um, I do see mutual love here and affection. Somebody is interested in redoing this connection from, um, you know, a more equal place, um, a place that comes from love rather than need. And I do see, um, you know, this really is starting something, something that really could lead to that unconditional love because I do see a very intense and deep feeling of connection here. And um, this person has a lot of love for you. And there is even a sense of there's not much that this person wouldn't do for you. They have unconditional love for you. It, it overflows is what I'm seeing. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this Aries. Okay, so the first card we have here is the Two of Wands. So this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. Next, we have the Eight of Wands, Fire Energy again, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. And finally, we have the Six of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. Okay, so I am seeing here that you would not regret um, standing your ground um, with this Nine of Wands. Whatever you do here, um, there is a sense of you changing the dynamic of the situation. You are giving this person some sort of wake-up call. Um, and it's really um, causing them to be more proactive in, um, you know, picking up their weight in the connection being fair with you um you know uh balancing things with you and putting in efforts so that um the connection doesn't feel burdensome to you so this person they do realize how much they care for you they have a lot of love for you and they see a future with you with this two of wands this is someone planning the futures of this connection this person is thinking long term they do see this as a connection that really has the potential to be a long-term successful committed um, connection and i do see that they don't want you to give up on the connection and this person is taking active action to um, save this connection to make it work to prove to you that they they love you and they care for you and that they want to be fair with you they want to make this easy for you because they do um, genuinely have sincere heartfelt feelings for you so this person does want um, a lot of communication i'm seeing here back and forth communication they are hearing you and they are receiving you and um, they are giving to the connection they are open to making this work with you and i do see um there is a change in how this um relationship is going thus far it, it may even feel almost like a brand new relationship you guys are starting on a clean slate and um, from a place of love with this ace of cups there is a new beginning in this love and i do see it being very fair one where both people are giving to the connection and there is a lot of balance there is equal give and take and this person is very generous with you i do see them um, letting their feelings be known to you as well Okay, so Aries, I am going to pull out an oracle card for you. Okay, so that card wants it to come out. Okay, so the card says, you and your loved ones are safe new moon in cancer. 
Okay, so I do see this person genuinely cares for you and um, they they don't want to risk losing this connection. Um, I do see them having a lot of affection and um, heartfelt feelings for you. They feel very comfortable with you. There's something about you that makes them feel safe. Um, there's a warm energy about you. They are drawn to your compassion and um, they feel like you are a safe haven. There is a sense of familiarity with you and there is not much this person wouldn't do to make this connection with you work because they are very invested and they have they are operating from their heart space they genuinely do care about you and they are thinking about the future of this connection and they do um, see themselves being in a long-term commitment with you okay so um aries i'm going to pull out another card for you Okay, so the card says, dangerous pleasure. The secret of reaping the greatest fruitfulness and the greatest enjoyment from life is to live dangerously. Okay, so there is a sense here of um, you may be a little bit unsure about this new beginning, but there is definitely a new beginning here that's being offered. And I am seeing actually that this is... Um, this is something that is safe because we do have that cancer energy and that is very, um, you know, comforting, safe energy. This person feels very safe with you. Um, I, I do see that this is someone who, you know, you've had a bit of a rocky connection with them. Um, there has been a lot of highs and lows in this um, connection. And um, there may be a feeling of... Um, while there is that feeling of familiarity and safety, um, there has been some some really low lows that have really developed your strength, and um, this could be what is causing you to to you know really fear this connection. But at the same time, there is a lot of love here, and um, I do see that this offer, this new Ace of Cups offer, is this is one that you can trust. It is something that is reliable and safe, and it's coming from a place of love. Um, I do see that this is very much an intense connection with this dangerous pleasure energy. Um, um, there is something about this connection having the potential to really have a strong, intense hold on you guys. But um, I do also see a feeling of familiarity, warmth, and safety here. There is compassion between both these lovers. Um, and this new beginning is one that is um, really one that is coming from a place of love and heartfelt emotion. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Aries. I hope you have a really, really good day, Aries. Bye, Aries.